We'll see, though. Let's take a look as uh, we're going to get right on in to Oregon and see which of these two teams can pull out ahead in a matchup that we know could potentially favor either team. Yeah, yeah because it's Oregon. Well, I'm just saying because of the, the, the qualifiers. Yes. Accelerate came favored. But, Very true. But because it's Oregon, Dark Zero came up favored. So, yeah. And Dark Zero historically are a stronger team, but at the same mm -hmm. time, like, the qualifiers really, I don't know, they, they kind of predicted that last matchup to an extent. Yeah, now... Oh. Before the right after actually uh, the match between Penta and, and Dark and uh, Space Station, excuse me, at DreamHack Winter said <laughs> Penta qualified. No oh, man, sorry, the, the, the feels bad for my yeah. cheeks there. I, I said Penta qualified, but SSG will 100%. And some people are like, yeah, but Dark Zero, Dark Zero, and in my opinion, Dark Zero when it comes to big big games that they should be winning, just end up failing and. I don't know if that's going to be something to be fixed in the future, but it's a similar thing for Secret. I always draw the same, um, you know, not conclusions, but like the, the same comparisons between the two teams in both regions. And there's a lot to be seen as an equal between all of them. Valkyrie will be banned yet again tonight. Mira, yeah. Monty, and the Buck. And, and that's uh, that's different bans than they banned last time, which was Dokubi and Pulse. But in this case, it seemed like the Buck was clearly against the Chieved. As uh, the sad face indicated. Very true. So, but I, but I thought we heard Buck players love it when Buck gets banned, so they don't have to play him because of his gun. What? Something we heard over the weekend. Who said that? I don't even recall who it was. In, in, in I believe it was in an interview, though. There was so much game this weekend. But either way, it was it was kind of a funny thing. Just uh, like, know. oh, thank God they banned my. We're busy watching oh. games and making gains. That's <laughs> my weekend in a nutshell. Jarvis uh, teasing the doc that he often plays, but instead of banning the pulse, now we see why they didn't ban it. He's going to be the one to play it. Mm -hmm. So they're going to start out in dorms here, see how things go. Now they are on defense first. We'll have to wait a bit to see if that blitz is going to come out. Protect your bombs from yeah, and, and that's Packers. again, if you're Dark Zero, you're just going to look for as many of these defensive rounds as possible because the instant you go for the attack, mm -hmm. you have a huge advantage with that blitz. They're, they do not shy away from abusing the list as much as possible. It's interesting to me that they would bring the Maverick instead of a Habana. Like, they could replace the, the Thermite and the Maverick with a Habana and a Thatcher and be safe even if it's downstairs. It, it seems a little odd, because the Maverick, more often than not, is going to seem to be to help deal with the Mute Jams that would be on the hatch downstairs. In this case, it is going to be top floor. I mean, I suppose there is situations where you could poke some holes in the, uh, the, the Sorry, the bedroom wall, but you're going to be thermiting that anyway, so you don't necessarily want to do that. I, I mean, I guess it's going to be an okay counter to that, but a Thatcher still would have been more effective. It also would have jammed the uh, Maestro camera that's right there for just a second. But at least it's nice to see Maestro finally not banned in a match today. This is uh, the only match in which he's going to be played today, so interesting to see how that plays out. Other than that, uh, I think this is Maverick's first, maybe first appearance today. I'm trying today, to think, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if I saw him earlier, and I don't think so. It is the the first appearance today. Uh, he can also destroy the Evil Eye faster, so I suppose there is that. Because if you, they get in yeah. through the smoke, the Evil Eye was directly to the left of the wall. But it's an instant have to take it out, basically, which is not something that usually. Oh, okay. speaking of take it out, there's the Maestro himself. What was the Mint doing there? Where where did he get taken out? Was he in? Uh, was he upstairs in the generator room? I think I saw a body. Yeah, there you go. You see the maestro on the floor. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah. He didn't die on the bed, so you know he's not going to rest in peace, I guess. He's just going to rest. Yeah. He's going to sit this one out. Yes. <laughs> it's Italian. Yeah, OK. Assassin's Creed. Oh, OK. Oh, Ooh, the run out. Beautiful from Han Cold. Bio to go down. They finally removed the Jackal here from play, but Schlange with one on Nixon. Achieved is trying to find yet another. Trade after trade. Yeah, Pojo Man here with the mute. Watching out. Is there an ADS to protect him? That's the big question. Thomas should have already burned the ADSs there in the back. Well, There's Poj definitely one there. Yeah, he's just going to fall back. He has one to protect him behind the reinforced the wall, but. All the angles are being held by EXG, and Sir Jarvis is downstairs. He's, out, he's got a nitro cell, but he can also fight the window, which is definitely a big position. We saw this when used up very effectively by G2. Fabian playing that position downstairs only a few days ago. Hot and cold looking for one more shot here. Ash on the outside, at least giving some warning shots. As 
Oh no, the drone not even taken out. Achieves will get the kill. Hot and cold goes down. 4v2. Advantage oh, for no. EXE. Oh, the C4 does not connect. Pojo Man, though, will find him. Again, oh, what are you doing? He's Jarvis. He's for himself at this point. <laughs> Oh man, Jarvis is just gonna give up that whole idea. The Maverick will get shot down, but achieved is ready. One versus two. The C4 chucked in the back, but Crusher walking in from the hallway will find Jarvis and take him out before the C4 can connect. And EXG will take the very first round. Gotta imagine Jarvis being very frustrated. The C4 could have been a huge game changer there, but it kept sticking. I mean, I feel like that was a great demonstration of what you're talking, trying to talk about with the pool table yep. in Coastline. So that is the struggle. Even if you have a nice lineup, sometimes it just can be very sticky. I don't know if uh, not everyone watching has been playing for long enough to remember back when C4 was extremely sticky. It would pretty much stick to your hands at some point. It was just like... Stick to Why everything. does it just leave? Yeah. You try and throw it through a doorway, and somehow it would just stick to the doorway. It was yeah. It was now it's tricky. it's like seen as like this one tiny hitbox mm -hmm. that's right in the middle, instead of the entire thing like it was in the past. So small changes that matter. Yeah, and remember the you know back in the day there okay, were no impact grenades, and so a lot of people use C4s just for rotation homes. Yeah, and would uh, do damage to each other often as well. Yeah, and you remember like you go back and sometimes watch some of those year one fods, yeah. and you're like, why are they using all of this equipment just to destroy the wall to have rotation holes? Well, yeah, caliber based destruction first of all was not a thing, yeah. and impacts were not even. We're here to remind you how far this game is. Yeah, gone. seriously, like everybody says, oh, back in the day it was so good, so different. Oh boy, are you wrong? Oh man. Maybe they uh, think they're jackal with this rosy colored glasses. Yeah, yeah. Glasses. Well, again, this is kudos to the development team Jack that has been working so hard on the game, making it so much better. Back in the day, Oregon would literally blind you. As an optometrist, I could very much tell you, Oregon in year one was a health hazard. You just set up shop in Oregon. So you could, uh, not next to this sort of cult house. That's true. Not not the best place. Yeah. But they are going to be bringing that Maverick again now that they know it's very likely to be downstairs. Although, to be fair, Dark Zero have been uh, overly confident in their tower plays and played that previously. And that could have been part of the reason as well because they don't know if Dark Zero are going to go for that because they didn't end up playing against them yeah. on Oregon. And Kitchen has seen a bit of a resurgence as well in the past week. So definitely not a site to uh, remove from... Uh, Mine and there's some of it. Hang on. Thomas is gonna use his. I'm, I'm not sure why he doesn't just use it to burn the middle and destroy the mana battery, which um, would yeah. make a lot of sense. And the Habana isn't even banned, so I wonder why you actually are not bringing the Habana. That's what I said earlier. The Habana and the Thatcher would make more sense than bringing the Thermite, but. Okay, fair enough. You could bring the Maverick and the Thermite. I mean, yeah, it works out. But still, whatever. That aside, there's. Flexibility in the yeah. fix, at least. Bojoman even having a large rotation hole there for him to drop in. And they'll have to take down a Mute Jammer. There you go. Thomas will make it happen. And Hot Nicole just firing through Attackers to keep Ichi on their toes. Attackers Drone will come in from Thomas. He just walks away to make sure nobody pushes him in the meantime. Mute Jammer is on the opposite end, but it shouldn't be able to block the Thermite Charge there. Nope, definitely doing a good job drilling as well. You saw the bulletproof camera also that was placed to be able to watch through the smoke if smoke goes down. I'm not sure the uh, jackal. I'm not sure what players keep doing this, where they put they see what they need to see with the drone, but then they just rush it into another guy and just end up losing. Yeah, it. you see a lot of the more aggressive, smarter players get off the drone immediately, knowing it's probably dead anyways, and rather than wasting the time driving it to die, they just try and execute on the th that's Yet another drone they chuck in the back, and they're going to lose yet another one. That's three drones lost. But yeah, that's just because they just ran in without holding angles. You can see that information without rushing it in and putting it in front of your opponents. Yeah, they're really just feeling pressure to make this execute happen. And it's, yeah, they've corralled people in here. And it's done an okay job. They're all hanging out in one room as friends and all that. But certainly the case where uh, the plant needs to come down in the next 30 seconds this year. No oh, man, Schlong is going to try to rotate in from the opposite end uh, via construction. And he also has the sledge to support him. Crush him in the crusher in the meantime, taking no damage. Smoke will block him. Another bit of smoke, and add to that the yokai. Bio will take a bit of damage here as he moves on in and hard and cold from the back, using the MP5 or the M5K here instead of the usual shotgun. At least nowadays. See one kill come out and the second for Chief. Pojaman and Nix will get taken out, but. 
That smoke is doing Five way too much damage, and from the grave, Koja Man will get one. Mint for the second, and Mint! Yet another. Uh, find the headshot on Achieved and clean him up. EXG face the wall that is Dark Zero, the Dark Zone. Yeah. Unfortunately for Dark Zero, this is their much better bomb site on defense. Dorms, you saw already, not their greatest, and Tower, definitely not a hit for them. So is the question, do they just keep trying dorms until they win it? Are they going to change up? They're going to go to dorms. So see if they can do a bit more of a successful defense this time. i got to imagine maybe not trying to depend on Jarvis going for the C4. He might just sixth pick off of that this time. Sneak in something else, as uh, he did it last time, and they know it. So it's the question. Nope, they're actually going to sixth pick off the Echo to the Maestro. I mean, it's good to have the Maestro as well, but then there we go. That's what I like to see to the Thatcher this time, because they know it's going to be dorms or tower. Either way, the Thatcher is going to Defenders be useful. Protect your bombs from Again, being though, by the, the reason uh, I think it's uh, much better for the Havana is just in case you need to be able to open up different angles. But this is a situation where the Thatcher and the Thermite, totally fine. This is knowing that mm -hmm. this is potentially the bomb site, that was the right play, switching that up, because the Maverick. It, what he does most of the time is act as a Thatcher. I mean, that's what his, his key replacement is, yeah. is or a Habana if that's not available. But in this case, it makes a lot more sense. And we'll see, achieved there at four kills. So he's doing it pretty good for his team, but a lot more going on, a lot more evenly across Dark Zero after that last round. Five see though, this go. time if Jarvis can be a bit more of an impact without uh, necessarily having to try and land a C4 through a window, perhaps yeah. even just throwing it on the floor where he's unlikely to miss. If he was trying to throw it through the, the hole just to hit the player by the outside of the window. Yeah, and that's of course depends on good timing as well. Even so there is... He had the timing twice. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a high chance that, uh, you know, the missed timing on detonating it even, or it, it's it's absolutely possible it still could have failed even if he'd made it through the bars. Mm -hmm. So. Well, Bio will continue to drone in as he's unimpeded by the new jammers and just clearing out Every time I miss, miss call the attic. There we go. The attic. Yeah. It's for me. It's always a connector. I've heard people still call it like sky bridge or something like that too. It's, it's a connector. but it's definitely an attic. There are a lot of connectors in this game. It's just. Well, either way, they're setting up to blast right on in to master bedroom here. He's also got three flashbangs left to try and clear any kind of ADSs as well. Go in there, but they potentially have to contend with Mints, Maestro, Evil Eye, and then Jarvis on that C4 as well. This is where Shlongi could try and hunt him, though. You, if you look right down there, you can see if he's on that, if you know he's playing that, which you saw on the reveal. Instead, he's going to spot you. You have an opportunity here. Shlongi, unfortunately, not playing off of it, but maybe he just he already knows, and it's not like he's going to be able to shoot him through the wall anyways. But you can tell exactly when he's on the sensor, at least. Yeah, and that's that's really what they have to deal with. When he's on the sensor, they'll at least know there's no C4. At least this is what they think. Koja Man should be playing next to Jarvis, and like to just confirm that to see if there's an extra bit of C4. To play, they spot the Maestro. They're on the side. Mint, at least this time, is not the first one to be lost. And there, there we go. That's the side of the barrel. Ooh. You can shoot the barrel, but you do no damage. It's only that's not really part of the model. Make him mad. Yeah. Good repel over there, though, getting onto the uh, building without having to repel down. He is just going to kind of continue to distract them as long as possible. The claymore here, maybe going to be a little bit more useful than reaches in this situation. Oh, smoking to the side here to limit to the point of view on Cole the Crusher. Will find Min. Actually, that was caught up by an ADS. Caught up in the line of fire as Hot and Cold to find Bio Schlongi with a refrag on a Poja Man. Schlongi doing a ton of work here. Achieved though with one but Hot and Cold with a quick refrag. Two versus three. Hot and Cold gets one more, but Schlongi will yet again refrag. Nyx will try to fight downstairs as the sleds will run away. And they're even using the C4 on the floor to slow things down here. Schlongi will set up a claymore as Nyx will walk on up and the Claymore will get swiftly dispatched as he sprays right into the wall, and unfortunately, that's a hard wall. Achieved. They're chucking grenade in the hallway. He'll find the kill. Just in the closet, and Nyx will go down. So, a good round here again for EXG, and you said it, and we'll say it again. It's not really looking a great sight for Dark Zero, and I think it's just because Schlong is going off on that IQ, and he's allowed to survive way too long and yeah. do way too much work. I mean, he was even giving away his position a lot of the time with his repel rope by going across the window, which 
give an opportunity, but you don't want to jump out with a maestro because he's too valuable towards the end of the round. Also, he's kind of slow. So had they had someone Whoa. a bit more nimble inside the side. Whoa. Look, are, you, uh, are you body shaming maestro? No, no. I'm saying okay. his IQ was lower than the other IQ. <sighs> Get out. So he's slow. Let's get out of here. All right. Well, either way, a fortunate thing for Dark Zero, because they're not great on defense on this map, and because they already won their good defensive site and did not play two Defending other sites yet or two other rounds yet, now they got to go to either dorms again, which they'll forego, or to tower, which they'll try to play kitchen. They could play kitchen as well. I just mean in the sense of they're going to have to go to an off bomb site or continue yep. to lose dorms, potentially. Now, Dark Zero, a couple play this go forced this site so many times. Yeah. And finally won it once. They got close, but the thing, close is not enough. And there's there's kind of this discussion of how tower is supposed to work. Are you supposed to hold on to meeting hall, putting as much utility as possible in there to hold on to tower, or are you supposed to mostly dedicate Attackers players the to the bottom, bottom floor, at least the basement, to, the to hold on to all of that? really depends on how the attack's going to come down to an extent, too. Uh, knowing what the competences of your players, as well as the, the operator bands, is Valkyrie and play or not. That's a big difference on how well you could play upper tower as well, because if you're playing upper tower and trying to, you know, people are trying to get you out of T3, if you have the ability to see them and go for runouts, that can make it a lot harder to deal with trying to get that. And in this case, obviously, the Valkyrie is banned, so definitely something that Dark Zero are taking into consideration for this round. Thomas, in the meantime, starting things off by going up the attic and making a bit <laughs> of a, uh, a guess, burning man. Yeah, well, forces hot and cold off, it seems. He's, oh, oh, he's going to be able to put down his batteries. Timing, though. Oh, no! They're going to use the wall! Thomas will find the kill. That's what uh, Fabian was doing as well during the match. He drops so fast this bottom side, though. That's I have to commend that Thomas. Very fast quick on his feet. Grenade into the back of the Jarvis. He takes damage and will choose to engage. And it now falls back down. And Schlongi just watching the hallway. He'll find the kill and take down Jarvis. Beautifully executed from EXG. Two kills directly on a Dark Zero. They're not giving them any quarters. No, it's definitely the case where, uh, I mean, I imagine Dark Zero may come back on attack, but they're certainly not looking great in this. They have some great uh, players left, or great operators at least. The Maestro and the Jaeger could definitely try and bring this back, but it's a 5v3 and doesn't even look like maybe even the slightest damage to Thomas is, is it. That's all that's been done. So, looking pretty good here. They just have to play smart now. They have time to drone. They see the evil eyes. They know how they can play against them. They could potentially nade them or even sledgehammer them or uh, hit them with Maverick's Torch if they get close enough. Shlongi is going to crouch walk up the stairs. He just needs to know. If he uses a drone, he actually might give himself away. They need a distraction. This is where Bio can actually take some pre-fire shots to cover up sound for him. Mint goes down as well. It is down to just Pojo Man and oh. uh, Nyx, but they both trade one each. Uh, they spotted one on the side, and Nyx will find him. Bio to go down, but Thomas to refrag. Now it's a 1v1. Pojo Man on the smoke. He'll hear the arc wire being picked up here as the fuser will be in the hands of Thomas. He has to go and plant, but he's going to use that potentially to his advantage. Pojo Man evading the damage as Thomas will walk on out. Watching still onto the stairs, and information is given in as Thomas will take even more. Still no damage done to Pojaman as Thomas will have to go for the plant. 18 seconds on the clock. Impact grenade to the back and can't catch them all. Thomas is somehow still alive. This is <laughs> crazy here. He's got little time left. And Pojaman knows that he's got all the advantage in the world here. Goes in for the fight, though. The fuser is still on the floor. All the ammo left, and Pojaman goes in for the headshot. Thomas goes down. A valiant effort, but Dark Zero will take the round and tie it up 2-2. A wonderful tower defense. Definitely unfortunate that Thomas was alone, but either way, I have, was to, I have to commend, though, EXG just moving into meeting hall and taking control of it wonderfully and masterfully yeah. done. I think Thomas played a great the whole round. It was just unfortunate for him. He was in a tough spot and lost too many of those fights under the stairs. Pojo had a huge advantage in health. But the fact that Thomas was able to burn all those smokes and both the impact nades, that was a pretty big attempt there, a pretty big play. Fortunately, the area in which he could plant is very limited. And, uh, well, Dark Zero finally winning that bomb site. 
now they can go back to laundry and potentially win another one. However, it is two to two. Either team could take the lead here in defense or offense. Ooh. Get spicy. Defense or offense? Either one. Or a spectator. Or, I don't know. Depends. It's going to have to be pretty clutch for spectator. Defenders, protect your bombs from being diffused by attack. Well, that's why we have the most clutch spectator in the world. Marciu Martin Prusinovsky. Let's. All the advertisements you're gonna get in this one. Yeah. Well, instead of the uh, bulletproof camera, they're gonna go with the evil eye right there in the back of the site. Look it on through. Let's see if Mint can stay alive. Not get himself killed early, which I imagine he probably can this time. But uh, it's gonna be down to Hot and Cold to be playing that pulse this time. Said so Jarvis, who's gonna be on the mute. Either way, that's a couple C4s, potentially a C4 from Nyx as well, which is a lot to try and defend along with the smoke. Basically, that means everyone but the maestro has the ability to try and counter a plant, and then he has the ability to see the plant and even do some shock damage. That uh, don't underestimate the range on that thing is basically the ability to hit the moon. <laughs> and uh, if they're in smoke, you can see them. If you can zap them from there, potentially, depending on where they're planting, you could do enough damage in combination with the smoke to kill the plant. Very true, actually, because a lot of times the the planter kind of escapes with a little health left. Yeah. And if Maestro uses the, the smoke to his advantage. Yeah, a couple early zaps, and that's enough for the smoke to kill. Yep. Thomas yet again going for the same uh, the same maneuver that we saw before. He's just uh, going to open up a few holes. It's just a power play. Yeah. He's also going to do some holes, it looks like, maybe on the other side. And then he's going to open up this he's one gonna again. going to do the same thing. Hopefully it doesn't get too predictable, but that will open up the ability to uh, try and get those batteries off. Hopefully a little more safely. And then now to drone for his team. Yeah, should have been shot down, and this will allow EXG to blow open the hole here into the wall. I like the strategy. I mean, I like to see Maverick starting to get a little more creative use from him. I still think Fabian is actually one of the better uh, Maverick players. Don't say it. I'm sorry, but he, he was, uh, even in the losing games, he was uh, playing uh, pretty well on the Maverick. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. All right, well, Thomas has moved in and should have more than enough here on the Breach of George to, or the Suri, as they call it. Apparently, in Afghani, Suri is literally flame. So, there you go. Today I learned. Should be able to destroy the head. Oh, he's waiting ah. for an opportunity. Unfortunately, people have gotten too good at that, and he's not going to open the hatch just yet. In fact, he wants to drone for it first, which is the smart approach here. So. You have to be so close up that you know you can get easily C4 from below, and you have to yeah, always keep that in mind. It's not so much the shot that can come out; it's how many C4s they might have on Dark Zero right now. Pulse is definitely waiting for that, and. Drone will come in again from Thomas to uh, try and get information for the squad as he actually all stack up. Shlongi will destroy the Maestro camera in the back in the hallway. There is a, still another one. Yes, you can see that here uh, in the closet, which will get taken down. Very, very well done by Yeshi doing the homework, taking down the two bits of utility that will stop them the, easily, the easiest. So, grenade will get thrown in the back to delay the smokes, but at 33 seconds on the clock, there's a lot of time for you here to use. Thomas will find a kill on a Jarvis as you hear the Maestro rattling off, and oh, achieved the double kill and mint on the floor. Triple. They'll all get shot down. Oh my god, that was a cash money grenade from downtown. Uh, that was a uh, uh, Kobe of Kobe's there. Three. Oh. That's, that's a rare That's I mean, a three pointer. C yeah, C4, you, you, you'll see it happen, but. <laughs> Wow, three with a grenade. That was well played. I love the way that they just played in terms of let's bait out utility and then bait them out as well because they're going to get greedy for those throws, the C4, because we denied all their utility, their ability to see through the smoke by killing the Maestro Evil Eye, and that absolutely changed it right there because there was just so little they could do about that. Now Accelerate already at a one-point advantage. Looking pretty strong in this. Some six picks sneaking out. Thomas pretending like he's going to play on the Capitab, but going back to his solid main there. Laundry gonna be tried one more time because this Attackers is still the best bomb site for Dark Zero. See if they can win it this time. So far they're they're 50% win rate, but it seems like Accelerate have uh, figured it out a little bit better that time. Good utility all around, taking, every, taking care of everything quickly. And uh, yeah, it did get a little low on time, but look at the Chief sitting up there with 10. Literally double anyone else at most. Yeah. That, that uh, 3K with the grenade certainly helped. 
That was it. That was a game changer. We'll see if they set things up any differently this time, knowing what the attack is going to be. For example, the Maverick that's just taking out the batteries quickly every time. They're not really necessarily able to do a ton about it other than try and place it maybe closer to the wall so the angle has to be a little bit sharper, a little bit lower. Then that is not a whole lot you can do unless you could play against it. Now, if they're really, really brave and there's not enough coverage on the laundry stairs, they could make a run-up, a really cheeky run-up. They could have a pulse watching from below with, before the hatch is open, make a run-up and try and kill the Maverick Yeah. when he's in the right position, but that is... It's so much coordination, with, though, is yeah. for that. You gotta do it with a player that you don't necessarily need the end game. Well, I, I mean, I guess that would have to be the Jaeger. Or even the Bandit. Well, at least they're bringing the C4. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm thinking. He's probably got the C4. Very true. So yeah, it's it's risky because not everyone is a sacrificial on the team there. Right. See how EXG take this and that. I want to say I'm very impressed by the uh, plays from EXG in this matchup as um, they're doing the same thing. And it's been working very well for them. So I can't really fault them for any of that. See the Thermit instantly opening things up here to have control of meeting from the kitchen. Schlong gonna move in from the tower as he'll try to contest the Jaeger and he'll actually win it out. It'll take a lot of damage though. In the meantime, as I believe he un ADS'd uh, a bit too early, but still was able to find the finisher. On cold, take it down, and whoa, well, now he's left. Uh, he's been given the cold shoulder. Unfortunately, but either way, Schlongy being almost dead, they still have time for a reset if they have the map control and security of knowing that they could do so without risking life. Maybe the garage would even be a good place to do that, where they're unlikely to be attacked at. We'll see, they might even just uh, go to do some slight damage to him, but nope, there's a C4 attempt. Unfortunately, it does not work. And Tomas is gonna just resume his uh, mission here. They are trying to counter him. Flashbang's coming down though. That's actually gonna stop Nyx from being able to do that for the most part. Again, though, Maverick exposing himself a bit too much. Still doesn't take damage. This is very brave, but absolutely working. Still one flashbang left as well. There is no Jaeger left alive to replace any ADSs, but Jarvis does manage to catch one onto the Thermite. But guess what? His job's already done, and that's the return of the guess what. All right. Thomas setting up for his last flash in to burn any ADSs. This should allow Chief here to chuck any frag grenades downstairs and also have it fly over the smokes. Bomb located by attackers. Throwing one smoke, but Mint will get one on Schlangy. Well done here to take down the Ash, but they still have the advantage which achieved in the back. Grenade will get Throwing tossed. Back. They're unsure of their opponent's position. Destroy as much of that uh, wall as possible. C4 baited out perfectly. Smoke has gone out. But obviously, there's oh, no follow-up. Yeah. Two kills, four achieved, and they both go down. Jarvis and Pojo Man. The fuser needs to get set here. So we'll see players just watching in the bandit, chucking out very quickly. He'll get tapped by Achieved. Last bullet in the magazine. The fuser's already set, and Bio will get the kill on Mint. Thomas has already been killed, but EXG, wow. Their takes are extremely efficient. They are so good at burning Dark Zero's utility, and then you add grenade play from Bio. That's that's why when Buck was banned, he's like, oh, sad face. Because no grenades, but guess what? You know what they needed? Sludge. An echo. Eat. They just needed the echo yeah. because they weren't planting in the smoke. They were planting behind the smoke every time. Yep. So they were able to destroy the Maestro Evil Eyes, but if they don't know where your yokai is, they can't kill it. And they weren't bringing a, a, uh, a Thatcher to be able to, you know, if they had a Thatcher, guess what? They could just... The there goes there goes the yokai. It's just sitting there doing nothing while they can plant. But because they didn't, because they brought the Maverick instead. Attackers need to so, but that's on Dark Zero to make that adaptation if that's the case. But no it's blitz. important that uh, they they get those initial rounds and. Uh, no blitz. Yeah, no blitz. But I mean, it's important that uh, Accelerate just get those initial rounds because Dark Zero have shown to be strong on attack on this map so far and the one time that they've played it. If Dark Zero end up losing this match. This can uh, this can really shake things up for NA. EG will remain on top, but Reciprocity will be trailing right behind them. Certainly looking pretty good here for Accelerate. I mean, they're three points away from winning. And that means that all they have to do is get half these rounds. Five seconds left. All right. Crusher running the Scorpion Evo here, so. Obviously the Ella, no Gizmotes have been deployed as I assume all three of them will get used in and around the site, probably one on the tower, and one closer up to the, to 
the main stairs. Already once been deployed. Kojo Man Shuron has been uh, spotted. Uh, Dark Zero will go for a tower take. Very standard here to make sure you clear out your opponents. You know there's nobody that's going to contest you throughout the round. From that, gather information into the meeting hall and the rest of the players that are all the way in the basement as Crusher. Again, playing the advantage. 40 rounds the magazine. That's a lot of damage. But you gotta close that distance is the real thing. He's gotta be at the right place at the right time. And that's why he's playing so aggressive. And Bio is gonna, hear, gonna be helping him. But unfortunately, they both get droned out as there's not really anything to stop them because there's not a new jammer right there. Non cold drone will remain available. Actually, there. The small hole that was already opened up by him. He's firing down in case he finds someone in the back, but Attackers none of that. Shlongi, I believe, was in that spot and just drops down, sending up his goo mines and playing inside of the kitchen. This is a very active roam from EXG, and Dark Zero are just content with having control of the tower, and Nyx is all the way downstairs watching it. I mean, the tower push can be very effective, but when it starts to get slowed down, you start to lose a lot of momentum that you kind of need. I mean, it is good if you can take control of Meeting Hall as well and just deny any extra pressure, also take control of the attic, which he's trying to do here, but is being rebuffed every single time they're trying to actually do something about it. Because of that, Nyx is kind of forced to burn ammo, sitting here holding the stairs here. And again, he's going to walk right into a Grishmont mine and be stuck down at the bottom. In the meantime, they just need to get this wall open, and that's what Hot and Cold's working on. But this this needs to start happening here, because while they're making progress, it's too slow. And they haven't really done any work, so players are all five alive for Accelerate. And, you know, in that situation, if you still have to worry about a top floor roam, it's not going to look good once you dedicate your manpower to push onto that B site. Looks like they're going to start to set up at least for something here. Smokes come out, but they also have smokes potentially for Mint as well. So good use of the cap tower. He's at least one firebolt out. Chief's getting the shotgun kill. Okay, he. I, where did he find him from? Oh, he found him from the hatch. Achieve getting the kill. He'll get another one on a Pojo man. And just watching the hatch, shotgun in hand, opening up even more angles for him to contest with the SMG 11. He'll spot one as he moves into the hallway. Damage done as Crusher will get the finisher on Nyx. Hot and cold finding one there with his Claymore, but it's now Crusher on his own to go for the fight, and Mint will land the 3K. Finally, we'll make it happen, but man, Blitzer no Blitz. That was just wonderfully, masterfully done on the Jackal, even though I wasn't really able to do much earlier on in the round. Dark Zero put up a round of the board and at least try to stop a halt that uh, just onslaught of Accelerate. Yeah, it was definitely a lot of just gunfights being won, unfortunately, for either team, really, because had they been able to hold it off a little bit longer, I, I feel like defense could have won that, but just Mint coming in, just slaying towards the end there definitely made a big difference. That achieved with a nice 2K as well. He's definitely been putting up such an effort this match. And uh, I gotta say, so far been my MVP, Defender but Mint has also had some pretty good plays as well, daggers. despite the one round that he got shot down in Generator. We'll see if Bio can do a bit more work this time with that, but 15 kills, almost three times what other players have here. I mean, he did get a pretty, like, I think he got like at least six or seven grenade kills. But well, we know he had half one round them. and two another round, so yeah. yeah. Almost half of those are grenade kills. Duncan here. That's. Insane. Yeah, this is definitely his forte at this point. This He's is uh, trying to give BC a run for his. Yep, money. I was just gonna say. Ten seconds left. <laughs> okay. No. Let's see how this round goes. Is now a CXG upstairs. I wonder how they're gonna change things Attackers around compared to Attackers must locate uh, how DZ the were doing it, and Attackers you already see it achieved. Playing downstairs with the pulse. Yep, he's definitely gonna be trying to get some kind of intel again on which way they're pushing. See how this is going, but it looks again like a tower side take, even when it's not necessarily that uh, site. But they are definitely trying to play in the tower here. So this seems like a smart approach. So if you can manage to get them out without burning too much of your own time. But Chief is doing a good job calling things out for Shlongi, so Shlongi can make the right pivots at the right time. In this case, it's just leaving. Chief is feeling the pressure downstairs, though. Can he win this fight against Nyx? 
He oh, almost. no! The UMP, unfortunately. Yeah, the RFOC wins that fight. Shlongi, though, not bailing out completely. He's actually going to continue to try and fight this. He really wants to. In the meantime, it's Nyx to find the kill on Bio. An unfortunate situation to be in here if you're Accelerate. You lose out, you know, a lot of utility by losing Achieved, but also top player on the squad. Nyx to spray in and he finds him through the wall. Oh, man, Shlong is on the floor. 3K with that low of health. Oh, no, he should not be allowed to do this sort of thing. They got enough time to just pick him back up. They could even use one of Thatcher's EMPs to potentially hit him, although I think he's still a bit too high on health for that. Yeah. they will only do around five damage, right? He's, yeah. He's got too much here. He's got around 20. Well, he can just keep fighting then. They can reset him. Just walk it off. There's so much time right now. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Either way, though, a great start by Nyx. Even if he dies at this point, he has done so much damage to this defense. And this is what I was saying. Dark Zero coming back on these attacks. It was a, a bit of time burned on tower, but seemingly worth it is three bodies just throwing themselves at the R4C. Oh, He's uh, them down quite a bit in defense. Once, you know, the pulse died of achieve, that should have been your signal to probably go, especially once Bio died and wasn't able to finish off Nyx. They overcommitted. Capital crossbow bolts have been heard inside, but it's Jarvis to win it out against Thomas. Dark Zero in control as Crusher. Low on health and last man alive. Goomine set up everywhere, but there might be enough. There you go. Nyx with one more. 4K. That's unfortunate. Look at that. Boom. Definitely going to put pressure on him. I mean, you kind of knew where he was going to be at at that point yeah. because he was pressured by the he window. He had to and... play by white stairs. Yeah. There's no other situation. Like, There's all no... he could have done has been on the stairs is the only difference, really. But they'll try dorms again, much like Dark Zero. And hopefully for their sake, unlike Dark Zero, they can actually win it because Dark Zero was unable to both times they tried it. So we'll see what the difference will be here. Mint at least teasing the blitz. No, he's going to stick it because Hot and Cold's going to use the sixth pick over to the Jackal. So, that should be fun, getting pinged and pushed by Mint at the same time. Oh, should man. make for a, a bit of Please. a demotivating okay, round for the defenders bomb. here. Oh, man. I am... I don't know if I should be saying this, but I'm not really looking forward to this round. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm always interested to see whether or not Mint is able to pull it off on the Blitz, because we have seen him get shut mm -hmm. down occasionally, and it's certainly possible to happen. He's not... Uh, you know, totally invincible or anything like that, and he's not playing like Kukukori or anything, so let's just be down to whether or not they can counter what he's doing. Hmm. At least there's barbed wire being set up that will slow him down a little bit, yeah, along with goo mines, I imagine, and then potentially some anticipation both from the pulse and from the loud sound he's going to make tromping around, but it's the Jackal is well putting pressure from the ping that's really going to make it difficult because, you know, you could easily be cornered, uh, people could be cornered out by Mint and then pressured from other sides as well. It's going to be the real problem, and especially with the Jackal ping to coordinate that. Makes it easy. All right, now the big question is, where does Dark Zone, uh, Dark Zone, Dark, Dark Zero go first? They go for, you know, an armory take? Do they come in and clear out Meeting Hall from the main lobby? That's the big question. They do have Nyx also available. There's nobody playing inside of the uh, uh, armory. In the meantime, and they have to deal with the C4s. Now, Nyx is going to come through the construction, which is something that he did in the previous round and was able to take the pulse out using this strategy. He's going to step into the goo mines. There was uh, one, one goo mine that was preset by Crusher. Alert Crusher and pull him back, at least giving information to his teammates. And again, one of the biggest powers here of the the lesion. Assuming he's paying attention. Very true. Well, you know, gloss around and be like, okay, well, I set up the first one in that position. There you yeah. go. Usually you just set up your goo mines further away from the site, and then as the round progresses, you set it closer and closer to the objective itself. Yeah. A lot of doors closed here, actually, forcing Nyx to have to open them. Mint at least able to cover for him in the meantime, which is good, but a lot of pressure coming down here. They haven't really actually been able to play as aggressive, I think, as they would have liked by either the Ash or the Blitz. But well, they have some map control. Crusher playing in by the white stairs. Schlongy as well. On the opposite end by the kitchen. Mint still peeking in. There's nobody really getting any sort of headway through. But Pojo Man will try to use his x here to open up uh, a walk into via the closet. There you go. 
Um, is that enough for pull? Um, yep. Yeah, I would think so. The nice thing about Mint, of course, is he can play this somewhat aggressively, pushing down a linear hallway like that. As long as his teammate's got his cross covered, he's just trying to bait out smokes at this point so that the plant can eventually come down. And it's working fine. Yeah. Although Achieved is able to at least call something out. You see the way he's looking through the floor there, so they can make sure that happens. And then he's being covered by his teammate of Shlongi. So it's a good combo, but guess who's coming? Nyx. I'm just going to try to shut this down ASAP. He spots two players rotating in, but he can't really do much against them. C4 up from Achieved, but it does not connect. Only damage has been done. The Shield of Mint protecting him. Now his teammates in the back. He'll find one kill. Pocha Man with another. And there's only Shlongi left as he gets flashed to the face. And meant to bash him. That ah, that shield is just so oppressive. I feel like that was a, a three or four K for him as well. It, this is the thing: the, the flash and just being up close and personal against your opponent is very similar to what would happen if Ying was in play. You which just can't that? see anything. You have to stay in your place, and you're not sure what's going on. Which is basically me IRL. But that that. Blitz play, just... Well, they banned the uh, Monty. What did you expect him to play? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you kind of need to as well, because he's Fair pretty enough. vicious on that. Bai was actually teasing out being the uh, the defensive Monty, but going to six pick off that. Just took him a, a while to decide what to. Mint as well, just teasing that Blitz, actually going to switch over to the Capitao. So it should be good for what he knows is going to be a laundry play, because they have... a. Uh, Attackers Done enough rounds? No, well, I guess they've lost all the rounds anyways, but they are definitely able to play laundry again. So, so far, they're a little bit of worse track record here than uh, Dark Zero. Looking pretty good as uh, Dark Zero now a one-point lead. Creeping towards a possible win. This is what I was talking about before is Dark Zero in their match on this map against Ryze. Just destroyed on attack, and it looks like we're seeing a similar situation here where we just know their biggest weakness by far is defense. So you really need to get as many rounds as possible as you can when you're attacking them on this map. Honestly, if they shore up their defenses a little bit stronger and aren't as easily countered on them, I could see Oregon being a map you just really don't want to play Dark Zero on. Yeah. That, oh, okay, there we go. I love this sort of play, the alibi. Um, I mentioned it multiple times, especially when um, a team like Chaos, for example, About why you should be a roamer, right? Why it's only a roam operator? Okay. I like how when you do this on purpose, it definitely doesn't trigger me. <laughs> but yeah, basically, Alibi, her utility is excellent. Yeah. It's not just to it's roam flexible. around. It's very flexible. It's not just to roam around. It's not just for you to get pings and then kills off of them. If just for the alibi yourself, it's also for you to make sure that your opponents are always on their toes because they're going to shoot in positions, pre-fire spots, and you can use those to your advantage. Definitely something here where Dark Zero completely shift their momentum and now are playing without having that blitz in play. They'll have Drone to deal ready. with two operators upstairs for Accelerate, which is more of a Latin American thing, but that has transitioned more and more to the other regions and it makes a lot of sense it's with every single map you're defending the bottom floor well yeah. hey roam as much as possible well, on the bottom one i like what they're doing they're, they're bringing prismas mute jammers and a vigil along with goo mines it, there's a lot to work with here as roamers Fortunately, nick's missing the uh the vault yeah. to try and get across to the balcony just gonna have to do it the old way you know they're all moving. yeah the way that isn't magic. Whoa, there goes Achieved. So there is a C4 off the board at the very least, and Hot Cold getting in at least to this room. Now being disrupted there by the uh, Mute Jammers that have been set. No, he's going to be able to jackal one in bio. We'll find the kill on Nyx, refragging ASAP. Now, Equilibrium here in the trades. Jarvis on his own. Finds the kill on Crusher. So. Cancels the reload just in case, and it will win out the second one. How does he even do this? He's at around 55 health, and he's already done so much work. Schlongi and Thomas, last two alive, and suddenly this defense downstairs is not going to work out when you don't have the utility and the players that you need. Habana's still alive. EMPs are still in because Jarvis was kept alive so efficiently by Capital. his own kills. And That's the most important part left. Exactly. Though. 
He can just completely cut off the rotation and the fire there. 30 seconds left is more than enough time to start this execute. He could even use the fire through the wall. To as that is allowed. I believe, or no, it might not be allowed, just the smokes, I think. Yeah, he's going to take a bit of damage here from the back because a uh, bit of explosives fired right into Thomas' face. Shotgun is in hand. It's now he'll have to watch for a push from the back as Jarvis will find one more. Not the seconds. Finally stopped in his track and mint. Pair of 308 to the face. We'll take down Schlongi. Dark Zero closer and closer to victory. Recovering from pretty abysmal start on the defense. A great round for Jarvis as well. Just slaying on that Damn. Thatcher that round. Slayer. Slayer. Well, that puts it on match point though. Dark Zero. They need the points and they're looking like they could finally take this so far flawless attack rounds. Four for four. Yeah. And uh, this is... This is not the time, I don't think, for Accelerate to try and bring out something wacky like Tower or Dining. You say that, but yeah, there go. they're going to go back to Laundry Supply. They figure out that, hey, our whole roam shtick did not really stick. So we're going to play Laundry, but this time in a more regular way and just play defensive. Yeah. I mean, I liked what they were doing utility-wise. They just lost way too many gunfights to Jarvis. See, though, Mint up at 10. He's going to bring that Blitz again, so <clears throat> they're going to push that. I mean, they didn't necessarily know where the site was going to be. It absolutely could have been either bomb site. In this case, it is, uh, I believe, going to be Laundry. Yep, again. So, see how this goes. Whether or not they could successfully stall out at least one more round to bring it towards a potential tie. But at this point, Accelerate cannot get a win. So... Luckily, they already have one yeah, win on the scoreboard, three. at least, against Orglis. Five seconds left. See how this goes down as the Mute Jammers at least going to slow things down Attackers a little bit. Recovered the diffuser. But again, Attackers they didn't really do a to ton to really stop defeated. things last round. This is a dangerous game, though, Achieved is playing up here. At least he has Schlongy to support him, right? No, it's downstairs. Yeah. I mean, there might be some uh, goo mines to help support. It might, who knows? It could even have the uh, Echo Drone from Bio. Yeah, this might be just be the uh, final huzzah for Accelerate, as uh, yeah, I've seen the amount of work that Min can do in that Blitz. Oh, yeah, he's looking to close this out. Yeah, definitely the case. Goo mines have been spotted. This, of course, uh, was marked in and just taken down any utility that's been reset. And also, the default cam next to continue to drone as. See, both the Bandit and the Mute are in play in this round. We'll disrupt that uh, drone for just a bit, but not really enough to shut it down completely. And of course, the big loss that you have here is, well, maybe, you know, having the Thermite would be okay if you're running it alongside the Thatcher, but still, Forge Man, more than enough there to bring the Excaros and should at least open up a, a hole in the wall here drone is online. to allow his teammates to hold off rotations through the hallway or into the meeting hall, which is really the big deal for uh, Accelerate, which you're kind of putting a lot of effort. It is weird to see Mint droning for himself in the sense that uh, he's a mobile drone already, or you know, it makes more sense for him to be walking around with the drone in front of him. But either way, he's you know, going to stay alive. He's kind of playing very independent this time to an extent, not necessarily leading the charge for his teammates. But it is going to help clear a lot of room so that Hot and Cold can get some footprints though, which is a great thing for a Jackal player to be able to get those extra footprints and know whether or not they've cleared all the roamers or they've you know, at least pushed most of the people down to site as they get uh, set up for this potential execute. They don't have the cap tower this time though. Yeah, that's the exchange that you uh, have at the end, but you still have smokes to be played for them in total by Hot and Cold and Mint. So, a bomb has been obviously you don't have the same directional level. Now, it's still gonna work though. This is the big question now. Will Mint be more of the aggressive, I will be in your face fighting you? Or, you know, kind of play style with the, with the Blitz? Or will he be more of the passive? You wanna come in, you have to rush through me. 32 seconds on the clock and I think that was all three spokes. I, I'm not sure if there's still one available. Can Might check be. Thomas from maybe for a second. No, that's the last one there, yeah. Or was, was that an impact? Yeah, he chucked an impact. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Mint will eat the second impact grenade, but he's going to stay right in the face of the bandit here in the back, and it'll connect. Chief to finish off one, but Han, Cold, and Jarvis will refrag. Achieved finding Pojaman, but the fuser's on the floor, leaving only one alive. These late round rotations 
The play from the back of the tower are really working out. Four dark zero, hot and cold will finally fall. It's all up to Crusher. He fires up to the school, can't find anything. Good shot on the back by Jarvis, who wins it all out. Crusher getting taken down. And that's all she wrote for the game. Accelerate, unable to find a single round. When switching over to the, their defense side. Flawless attacks. And like I said, that is where they shine. But either way, a very good match, I think, at least on their attacks by Accelerate. Just defense really struggled. And you can see why. Some really good attack strats coming out. I think uh, if, if Dark Zero could just work on those defenses. Seven, when you drop 17 kills and still... Yeah. It's a it's a good place to be for 